Hello and welcome again to this new tutorial where we are going to be learning how to use LayerPix Converter. Now, LayerPix Converter lets you turn any of your favorite images into stunning depth animation, which basically we talk about it as being 3D and animated 3D to be precise. To use LayerPix Converter, you need to go to convert.layerpix.com and I'll be leaving that link in the description of this video and you'll come to this site. You notice they have a very simple homepage and then you'll click on sign in here at the top and then if you have an account you'll sign in, if you don't you'll click down here and create account and then you'll give your details here, your first name, your last name, then your email and then your date of birth and then you'll click on next and then you'll create a strong password here you simply mix capital letters and small letters and then you can also add special characters and then you'll click on next and then you'll click on I have read and accepted these terms and the terms are here you can read all the terms before you click on confirm and then you'll go back to your email and verify your email address. So you now notice we have been brought to this site and now this tab for upload is active. So you notice the home page here is almost the same as the one we had in the beginning but now at least our tab is active here and then on the upper right corner we have your account where you can manage your account. So how now do we use this? Yeah I'm going to create, so I'm going to click on upload and then it it will take me to my PC and then I'm going to check, I'm going to select this one image of this bird which I created using Playground AI and that tutorial is available in this YouTube channel. Then I'll click on open and then our image will load. You notice our image is already animated, the bird is swinging slightly and that is good. Now I will come to the settings on the top left corner then I can adjust the settings for my animation. So we can adjust animation length, animation style, amount of motion, the focus point, the edge deletion and of course we can change advance and then we can access our advanced editor. So for the animation length you notice here we have one second, two seconds, three seconds and all that. So it's currently at three seconds so I'll change that to six seconds so that it is extremely slow. You notice that it's extremely slow. If I reduce that to two seconds you notice it is now a bit faster. If I take that back to one second you notice it's now even faster. The bird is swinging faster. So I'll put that at two seconds. I like it that slow, not extremely slow and not too fast and that is the animation length. Let's go to the animation style, I'll click on animation style. Now you can have it horizontal, wide circle, circle, tall circle or vertical. If I click on horizontal you notice how my bird is swinging. If I click circle oh. You notice how it is swinging. So let me reduce my animation length to one second so that you can see that difference. So circle, that is circle, then tall circle, you notice that, and then we have vertical, you notice that. So if I increase this to be six seconds, you notice how it is swinging slowly vertically because of what we have selected here. So that is how you use the animation style. So amount of motion, that is you can set it either less, regular or more. Currently it is at regular. So let me reduce this back to two seconds and then I increase the amount of motion here to be more. So you notice now the bird is swinging more. If I put that to less, you notice that difference. Let me take it back to more again. You notice that motion again. 
it's different. So that is how you use the amount of motion. So let's use now the focus point. If I click on focus point, then I can decide if the focus will be close, center, or far. So if I do the far, you notice the leaf here is now faded. If I do close, you now notice the focus has come to this side. So if I do the center, you notice the focus is now on the bud. So you can play with this one to just change what you want to be your focus. And then you can also do the edge dilation where you can decide on dilation of your edges. Now, if I click it at 15 and you look at the edges here, you notice it's now dilated. If I reduce that, you notice it becomes again sharper. You can also use advanced editor here where you can choose the amplitude that is on the X axis, the Y axis, the Z axis or face X, Y and Z. So if I now increase the amplitude on the X axis and put it at 10, just notice the amplitude and look at how the bar dilates at, at the ends here. So if I increase the amplitude on the Y axis, Again, you notice what is now happening to the bud. Let me take back the amplitude on the x-axis to zero and then amplitude on the y-axis back to zero. That is how now it looks. Let me put it back to one. That is how you use the advanced settings. So let's go to the depth map. Now the depth map helps you to get an idea on what is so close to your camera and what is not. So like in this case, you notice our leaf that is faded here is very far from the camera and the brighter regions are the ones so close to the camera. So I can adjust the depth. So far is black. The farthest parts are black. You notice that. And the brightest parts are close. So I can change that in terms of the depth so that I can get the image that I want. And the size of that depth, you notice if I adjust this, you notice I'm slight changes in the brightness of our image, which means we are adjusting our depth. We can also adjust our opacity back to 100 or back to zero. And we can also use the color picker to use to select the specific depth that we want to adjust. So if I click on that and you notice I come back to my image, it turns to something else like a star. So I'm able to select that. So I have selected the color that I want to adjust then I can either see the preview or close that. So it helps me see that preview. If now I do that, you notice what I can see. So I can adjust this to the level that I want, then see the preview. Then I can adjust that again to whichever style that I need until I can see what I want. So that is how you adjust that. Down here, you can also upload a depth map and you'll need to have that in this case I don't have a depth map to upload but you can upload that as your reference so once you're satisfied with that and then you can click on save but if you make any changes that you feel you want to undo you can simply click on undo but in this case I'm satisfied with my image let me increase the hardness slightly and then the size up to half so we have it there so that we have the blood part here. So I'll click on save so that now our bud, the changes are saved. So if I feel I need to make more changes, I click on edit again, then I can edit that. If I want to edit the depth map, I'll click on that and then edit that. So in this case, let me assume I'm satisfied with the way my image has come out. What else? One, I can also view the image here full screen. I just click on that. And you now notice our image is almost full screen or I can click on that to get back to this size. So to have my image now, I will click here on share and then I can share my image either on Facebook, Twitter, pin interests or even through email. I can also copy this link here by just clicking on it and then I can send that link. The other way is that I can save my image on my device and I can decide how I'm going to save this image either as GIF or as MP4 or any other of these settings including depth map. 
So in this case, I'm going to save my image as a GIF file. So I'll click on GIF and then I can decide on what to save, the size, tiny, small, or full size. So I want to save it as full size. I'll click on full size and click on save and click on save. So now my image has been downloaded. If I now come to my files here and I click on that image, you notice we have our animated image there. So that is how you simply use layer picks converter to convert your images into either videos or GIF. I hope this has been helpful. Kindly like this video, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel.